Well, hey everyone, and welcome to a whole new series. Uh, we're going to do Back to the Future. Oh my god, look at that. Um, Back to the Future subtitles on music. Uh, we got to turn the music like right down because because uh, it's all Back to the Future music, so it's going to be... It's going to be copyrighted. Let's stick with that. Um, hopefully that's enough. I don't know. Ah, it kills me. It kills me to do that. Um, so I... Uh, listen, this is uh, the Telltale game. So five, five in-game episodes. Um, each episode will yield us about four episodes. And so it should be about a 20-part series. Um, I love Back to the Future. Like, love, love, love Back to the Future. Uh, I also pretty much adore Telltale games. Um, this game, this game's a little bit of an anomaly, though, because, so, uh, here's some history. About eight years ago, I played the first episode of this game. Uh, I don't remember it at all, except for it was bad enough that I didn't want to keep playing. Uh, which says a lot, because, again, I love Back to the Future, and I like Telltale games. Um, so, but yeah, I'm kind of thinking maybe I just didn't give it its, its I don't know, it, it deserves another chance, is what I'm thinking. So that's what we're going to do. Um, this could be a little bit different compared to my other series. Uh, I might talk a little less, because Telltale games are kind of mostly cutscenes, um, and I'm not going to talk when other people are talking. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, the other thing is that um, the biggest fault in Telltale games is that they don't give you the option to turn off the timer when you're selecting dialogue. So if you've never played a Telltale game, um, you get to make decisions throughout the game uh, that will actually affect the outcome, will, will affect the story and, and change the outcome of the game. Um, but uh, whenever you're making a selection for how you're going to respond to someone, there's this timer that shoots across the bottom of the screen. And for some reason, Telltale has not ever introduced the, um, the option to turn that timer off. I don't think. Unless, unless it was just in here and we didn't... Well, nope. Uh, Pop-up text. No, no. Uh, goals. Pop-up. No, no. Hint level. No. Okay. So, no. There's no uh, effects. We can turn effects volume up, I would think. I don't know, like that maybe? Um, yeah, so I mean, let's give this a go. I'm looking forward to it either way. Uh, we're just going to have to kind of see what sort of shape this thing takes on. Uh, before we begin, would you like to see notifications when Marty has a new goal? Yes. Yeah, help us out, because we're stupid. Cue the copyright All right, I'm ready. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 118 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Come on, Einy. Hey, boy, get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seat. Up. So Christopher Lloyd is back as Doc. Uh, but I think that's it. They got a different actor to play Marty. Um, but if I remember correctly, it's not a detriment. That's that's not the issue with the game. I think I think whoever plays Marty in this game does a pretty good job. Um, but it's nice it's nice having having Christopher Lloyd back for sure. Oh Lord, that's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please note that Einstein's clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? Right, Jack Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. Not me. The car. The car. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. 
One of the best lines in the original game, or original movie. Watch this, watch this. Oh, it is gonna, it's gonna let me answer. There's no timer. Uh, you disintegrated Einstein. Where's the car? What the heck? Temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds. So in the in the movie, it's you disintegrated Einstein. Uh, so let's go with that. Hot Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc! You disintegrated Einstein. Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. Uh, we gotta go with this. This is obviously... Uh, you put your dog in a time machine? What are you talking about? Are you telling me you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Look out! What? What? Uh, Doc? Huh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. I do think we have to, uh, I think we gotta cut out the rest of this music, which sucks. Ah, uh, do we? Let's, let's see. Let's see. I mean, maybe it'll be okay. Maybe it'll be okay. Uh, press left button and right button to cycle through the selectable objects until the toolbox is highlighted. Then press A to select it. Okay. Um, right stick. Clicking our right stick gives us in the parking lot of Twin Pine Malls. Twin Pines Mall in Hill Valley, Marty McFly and Doc Brown perform a familiar experiment using Doc's time machine, time-traveling DeLorean, with unfamiliar results. Yeah, man. The car was supposed to come back, and everything was supposed to be okay. Uh, hints? No, we don't need a hint. We don't need no stinking hint. Uh, toolbox. Notebook. Notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's... Mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared, and the flux dispersal rate is inversely proportional to the fourth root of N, carry the nine, then... Uh, yeah, this isn't the way it happened. Sounds familiar. We gotta get out of here. Uh, this one. Doc, something's way off here. Uh, Doc? Great Scott! Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake! 
What? What? This isn't the way the movie is. I don't remember any of this. I'm sorry, Marty. Come back! <laughs> and it was just a dream. Marty? Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. 1986? Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Cool. Copyrighted music. Yay. So yeah, the original uh the movie the original movie takes place in 1985. So this is one year after the trilogy. That's exciting. Sort of uh sort of serves like a a fourth movie, kind of, in a way. There's the uh, the famous, not quite to scale, the crudity of the model. I apologize for the crudity of the model, Marty. Einstein's dish. All of the clocks, including the Felix the Cat clock. The uh, the amp lifier that Marty hooks up to, and oh, it's been repaired. That's good, because Marty like completely trashed that thing. He went full on teenager on it. Estate sale. Doc's place is for sale. Dad, are we too late to stop the sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc stuff. The city has no right now, to... Now, son, I know you're upset, but your friend's been gone for months, and the city really seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage, and... Hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Hey, oh, Marty. Oh, Biff. Hi, Biff. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm just... remembering. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, let's look around. So, one of the things I, I'm sure you're noticing in the cutscenes here, Telltale is notorious for, um... No, uh, Telltale is notorious for really bad... Like, I don't know, just jittery cutscenes and stuff. So, yeah, I gotta get rid of the music, guys. I'm sorry. It's breaking my heart, but. I miss Einstein. I miss Einstein, too. It's better than Copernicus, the 50s dog. What a loser. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can't intervene to prevent your own conception, for example? Yep, been there, done that. Made out with our mom. Made out with our mom. Uh, sorry for our dangerous materials. Yep. Okay, got it. I'll have to make sure Doc didn't leave anything dangerous behind. Is that... Uh, that's irritating on the screen. Is that the uh, pop-up text subtitles hint goals? Is that what that is? No? No? I don't know. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Uh, family connections, peek inside the model, I saw it first. Ah, uh, do we play on the heartstrings? Do, does Biff even have heartstrings? Peek inside the model, that might just alert him to the fact that, um, 
There's something inside the model that we want to see. I saw it first. He won't care. He's a bully. Let's go with the... Let's try to play heartstrings, even though I don't think it'll work. You know, you and my folks go way back. Yeah? So? So how about letting me have that model courthouse for old time's sake? Nah, I think I'll keep it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Oh, great. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. <laughs> right, so it's been a year, and no one knows about time travel, so everyone just thinks Doc died? I guess. That makes sense. Seems kind of empty without the courthouse. Yeah, well... Doc must have whipped up some crazy compounds in that cauldron. <laughs> well, that smells like beef stew. It, it's not bad. It's not bad voice acting, considering it's not actually Michael J. Fox. You know? I would say that's impressive. Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. Okay, so I'm kind of starting to remember why I think the game's not very good. Feels like that was a lot. Actually, I guess it was. See, Telltale games do that, too. They kind of skip something. They glitch out on their own, like, skip their own dialogue and stuff. Hey, let me try, Marty. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. Uh, you got it, Mr. McFly. Biff is such a, like, even when he he's just not capable. It's not like Biff got better. It's not like it's not like when we went back in time and changed time Biff got better. He just got like dweeby and irritating. Oh, now I well, oh, what? Wasn't there there was something this. What is this? Looks like a hand crank lightning rod or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. Yeah, see there's a, just a lot of that crap that's not necessary. Hey, Biff. Uh, the notebook is dangerous. The notebook is worthless. The notebook reminds me of Doc. You wouldn't understand that notebook. I'll buy the notebook from you. Okay, Biff is going to want a ridiculous amount of money for us to buy the notebook. Insulting his intelligence probably doesn't help. Reminds me of Doc. He won't care. The notebook is dangerous. I'm thinking the notebook is worthless is the way to go because all he cares about is money. Kind of. Or like... I don't know. Does this version of Biff care about money? He's out for him. He's always out for himself. Let's go with it's this. Just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Nothing. And then it's worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. Okay. It's dangerous. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What, is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. Uh, it reminds me of Doc. I only want that notebook because, well, I'm, I'm sentimental. It's like a piece of Doc. Doc's dead. Time to get over it and move on. Ho <laughs> ho oh, douchebag. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me ignorant? Yes. I'm surprised you know the word ignorant. I'll pay you for it. How much? Um, Not enough. Okay. Uh, never mind. So Biff is, uh, still a dick. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Oh. He made Marty repair it. Let's, Let's make some noise. No, no. No, 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 no. Turn it down. No, no. Nope. Turn it off. Nope. No, no. Please stop. Please. Please stop, Marty. Marty. Oh, good. Now there's just a... Now there's just a constant static hum. Well, let's grab our hey, guitar. Dad, why is my guitar got a price tag on it? Sorry, son. Must have been an overzealous clerk. Just pick it up. I'll iron things out with the bank. All right, here we go. Uh, so I have inventory. I have inventory. I've got a photo of George McFly. Oh, I can't uh, can't examine it. Uh, highlight the photo of George McFly and press X to examine it more closely. I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. It may not look like much, but it packs a wallop. A wallop. Okay, let's... Uh... It took me forever to repair this yeah, thing after okay. I blew it out last time, and now right. some jerk's going to pick it up for pennies. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Right, but how do I... Okay, got the guitar. Use item. Now select the amplifier to plug into the guitar. Haha, <laughs> this seems like a bad idea. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look, it's Chuck Butthead. Ooh, it's worth it. Let, Let him me have show this. You how yep. it's done. Okay, he's distracted. Now, Biff. No, no, I no. I think that's Dad. Marty's guitar. No, Dad, it's oh, okay. Uh, gosh, uh, you're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few licks. No, no, really, Biff. It's okay. I'm, uh, I'm curious what you do. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. <laughs> oh, you. Okay. Um. Um. Hello, Dad. Hey, Dad. Uh, who's running the sale? Who's running the sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. Uh, okay. Uh, I can fight my own fights, Dad. I had a dream. Uh, Doc's alive. Hmm. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff, but I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. Mm, I can find my own fights. No, uh, help me. Help me get the book. Doc's alive. He's going to think we're crazy. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. You got Doc wrong, man. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. Uh, he's already... yeah. Uh... That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. Gee. Thanks, George. Now, Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. No, no, no. Thanks for nothing, Dad. Friggin' a-hole. A fish tank? I never knew Doc raised fish. Yeah, Doc's fish had weird taste in decor. It's a kettlefish. Kind of like Doc. Kettlefish. I can't leave until I get Doc's notebook back from Biff. Okay, I wasn't trying to leave. I was just trying to inspect the sign. Let's let's take a deep breath. Um. I don't know. Can we ask him again? Hey, Biff. Uh, I'll buy the notebook. The notebook's dangerous. Uh, never mind. Huh. Okay. Um. We need to find something to distract him with. And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Thanks for warming him up for me, butthead. Uh, okay, because we've told Dad to butt out and leave us alone. Okay. Now watch me blow the lid off this joint. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> Rock and roll. 
Rock on, Biff. Works every oh, time. Shit. <laughs> Port uh, Doc, where are you? Oh, here he is. Him and Clara. Clara Clayton. Okay, we're gonna listen. It's not the same without the music, man. We're just gonna we're just gonna roll the dice. Doc? You knew it was going to be cold. Why are you such an idiot? Hey, Einstein. Einstein! Where did you come from, boy? Didn't you bring Doc with you? Whoa, is that the Einstein from the dream that disappeared and didn't come back? No. No, it can't be. Turn on the time circuits. We'll figure out where, uh, where Einstein just came from. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Yeah, but, okay. Uh, no, time circuits we turn on here. Looks like the time circuits still work. No, no, no. I only need to know when to look for Doc. Right, yep, yeah, but you could have just... Marty? Ah! Marty, if you're hearing this recording, then the DeLorean's automatic retrieval feature is a resounding success. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I programmed the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Marty, you come to my rescue in the past, or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please, take the DeLorean back, or, or forward, to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. That's it? Aren't you going to tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark, Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right, Last Time Departed, Last Time Departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Yeah, I freaking told come you on, that. Come on, come on, come on. Crap! Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Uh, well, there's a shoe. Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Um... I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Yeah? Well, once I know when to look for Doc. Yeah, yeah. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Well, once I know when yeah. to look for Doc. Okay, so both of those items give me the same... I probably shouldn't fiddle with the time circuits again until I know when to look for Doc. Well, I think we need to get out of the car. Um, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Hello, Einstein. Talk to me, boy. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? <laughs> okay. Um, the shoe? Can we give him the shoe? What do you know about this shoe, Einie? Great Scott! I think he's onto something. And just like that, that's how we do it. Whoa. Are we downtown by the clock tower? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Can you imagine having the hover hoverboard but never being able to, to use it? Because people, you can't let people see that you own a hoverboard. That sucks. Uh, well, you're saying this door. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? <laughs> okay. Why couldn't Doc have invented a dog translator? Because aside from the time machine, Doc really isn't that good of an inventor. Strickland. Like, 
Principal Strickland? Step away from the door! Ah. Now, let me get a look at you. Einstein, come on! Just as I suspected. Hooligans! Get along now! Scat! Uh, I'm not a hooligan. Einstein brought me here. Who are you? I've got something for you. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Oh, that sounds let me see. perverted. It's, uh, it's really creepy. Uh, here. It's a shoe. A shoe? Wow, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> Stay there! Okay. Ah, uh, weird. It's a shoe from the past. And she has the other one that has aged because it didn't come through time. But the one we have looks like brand new because we took it from whatever date. Leave that creature outside. Okay, you're pleasant. Sorry, Einstein. Was this Strickland's wife? This is Principal Strickland's wife? I didn't picture him as being married. Well, took you long enough. Um, there's a lot of stairs. To return the shoe, I mean. I lost it ages ago. You can put it down next to the other one. Hmm, much better. So neat and orderly. Yeah, I suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now. No, I... All I've got is tea and candy. But... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's Should... a fact. Look it up. Shouldn't you be confused about the fact that I have the shoe? Is that not a fair question? Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. You're definitely in some way connected to Principal Strickland. You definitely remind us of him. Einstein brought me that shoe from the past. But when in the past? I don't know. What are these? My editorial trophies. Cat Lover's Quarterly. It's legitimate journalism. <laughs> Is it? Is it indeed? <laughs> Is that Vice Principal Strickland? Mother never could keep little Gerald out of her clothes. Uh, her sister? His sister? Principal Strickland's sister? Huh. And now we know his name is Gerald. I don't think we knew that before. Don't touch those! My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. What? 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 What is it you think kids do? Marshall Strickland. My grandfather. Okay. Gunned down by Mad Dog Tannen over a hundred years ago. That's not how I remember it. Yeah, we uh, we saw him in Back to the Future Part Three. Marshall Strickland. Man. She keeps it hot in here. That's the kettle. I'll be right back with some tea. Then don't touch anything. This is our chance to go for the newspapers. Oh, the candy looks older than I am. Nah, it's giddy. Hey, uh, mind if I use your binoculars for a sec? Go ahead, dear. No. Oh. Do we miss our chance to use them? And these are powerful. I could see Biff going into the video store. Yeah, he wouldn't believe the filth that boy watches. Yeah, he's nothing but an out of control hedonist, just <laughs> like his father. Uh, Biff's renting porn. If there's a clue to find a doc out there, I'm not seeing it. 
I don't even know where to start looking. Hmm. We need to. We need to. We need access to these papers. Can we go in the kitchen? Uh, Miss Strickland, about your tea. Uh, you forgot to turn on you! the. You! It's spelled with a U. You illiterate vandal! Okay. Thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Please do all three. And next time, we're gonna... I don't know. We're gonna figure out what to do here. Uh, it's not bad so far. I mean, yeah, there's some irritating aspects to the game, for sure. Um, but there's also kind of a fun mystery. So it'll be... It'll be kind of... It'll be good to see where it takes us. And until next time...